Hey guys, good morning. It's Jose again. Um, having problems with the Fun Finder electrical. So I'm connected to the power and my 12 volt light. They don't turn on. So everything that is running on 12 volt is not working. But I'm connected to the, my 30 amp outlet at my house. So um, I asked a couple of friends for an advice. They told me that it was the inverter, inverter um, that I need to be changed. And, you know, I did everything. I checked the fuses. I check the wire you know if i have electricity i have 110 but when it comes from from the from the house with 110 it comes right here to this little thing and this one i converted to the 12 volt so this right here, and some of them are 30 amps or 35 amps, but my, I took it apart and it's 55 amps. So I had to return the one I had bought for it originally and got a new one. This is it. It's the 71 series power center. And it got here last night. It looks almost identical. It's just the color of the blue wire is a little darker. But other than that, it's the same thing so i thought i'm not an electrician no i don't work and i just try to do everything myself that way i save some money but you know i took this panel out you know a couple of screws there took this apart um this right here when you took this out there's a couple of screws on the bottom so that will detach and will come out so uh, I'm gonna exchange it right now and um, hopefully it takes us like, I don't know, <laughs> a little bit to get a change. So um, it's not that hard. You just have to have patience and make sure you disconnect. Make sure you are disconnected from the house and everything is disconnected right in here. Um, you take off, I took off my battery, my killer switch is off and everything else. You just have to, you know, everything is off. Uh, but I don't have no electricity. I'm not connected. I don't have no power of any source. So hopefully it's going to be a nice and easy installation and we'll go from there. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so we took everything apart that uh, we were looking for. So we're gonna unplug this. See what it got from. So at this point, we are going to cut here and right here. And we are going to cut right here. Where is this one going to? unit out and when I got this one too okay. so we're gonna have reference where the other wires are going to 
Uh, so, it's busted, but I don't know how I'm not an electrician. Okay, this is a little different, but hmm. okay. So, Only one. Okay. like that so we're gonna slide it in a different way uh we're gonna save that sticker there you go it's one way So now we're gonna secure the bottom part of that. And we're gonna do that with
try something else. Three more to go to secure the bottom point. There you go. All right, so it's installed, it's been secure. Oh, I think we need to put. Two more. Uh, let's see where they are. I think this is the ones. Got these two screws right here, so they don't move. So let's see how can I get them in right here. Okay, let's see how can I get them in. gotta do right here is be patient and try to find the right screws and then we'll be fine
one. There you go. Okay, it needs a little bit more. Secure. So now let's play with the cables. So we cut this one. We go around. We need a flat head. Uh, get the flat head out. And we can slide it in there. and touch any other wires inside and we're gonna tighten it up bingo and you just whatever extra you have there is a little space right here so you can put it in there so now we're gonna do the white one let's get the white out one two three go the white out. Mm, this one, I'm gonna work it around here. And I'm gonna work it in here. Okay. I'm gonna tighten it up. Oop, oop, oop. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. There you go, gonna work the same way. Okay. There's a little extra, but you know, okay. there is a little space right here so you can tuck it in there. Now we got the other one, the one we cut. It's this one right here, so it's gonna go on the last on the last one, and this one it's Okay, we got it. We got it out. Now do this. Play around with it. Just a little bit more. Play with it. There you go. You know, it's tight, you know, it's not coming out. <clears throat> and the extra, just twist it in there and glue it in there. Okay, now this one, it's the black one, but it has this little weird connection, so let's see, okay. Go right here on this one. Right here. So I'll cut the extra and I'm gonna do a connection and I'll be right back. Okay, so 
this is where we cut the cable but the cable is connected to something else screwdriver small one okay let's see okay so now can I put the new one in Connection. I like to take extra, extra precautions and things like this, so I'm gonna put a little tape on it so you won't get nowhere. There you go. Get the cap up. Okay. Now, we are going to get this in here. There you go. <laughs> All right. Now that I'm here, I just want to make sure that everything is tied. This one doesn't have anything, so not to worry about it. It's a little loose, but does it have anything connected? So, all right. So all the installation has been done. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Now I'm gonna put everything back together the way it was, and go from there so give me a quick minute and I'm gonna get everything back in place let's see we got one two three four which is holding the furnace I mean the furnace the electrical panel and this one goes in here Okay, that's 
one. So, okay, now I need a this right here. Hold on, I can grab it. Yeah, I can grab it. These little screws, they're not regular screws, they're the stars. And I believe, I don't see, I don't have the number, but they're a star. See. So. I think I'm missing one more panel before I install the other stuff. This is it. Oh no, I have a Phillips right here. Okay. It doesn't go any further. I don't know why. But that's how it was. You just put it another way it was. So here let's see okay so I'm gonna do this Missing one screw from here, but I don't know where to go. And I only have two more left, I guess. Find it. It's my daughter, my daughter. She got everything. Okay. I'll move out a little bit down my baby. Okay, we're just putting everything back together the way it was. And that should be it. So 
now I'm going outside to <clears throat> connect the power and I'll be right back. Hey, <laughs> so I went outside and I plug in the, the 30 amps into my trailer. I have this, uh, the electrical surge and the moment of the truth. One, two, three. There you go. Now, do we have light? Oh yeah, do we have, oh yeah, okay. So look. Okay, so right here. Okay, nice. So all my 12 volts are working now. So what is that supposed to mean is that the inverter, it was not good. It went, it went bad. So that's why my battery wasn't charging when I was plugged into my 30 amp. Um, I wanna say thank you to Martin, Mr. Martin, that you helped me out um with the diagnose of the trailer thank you and um i will upload the video so if you guys have any problems that you guys have are connected but your 12 volts are not working any 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 of your 12 volts so this is your problem right here this is it so thank you so much see you guys later